Good evening. You're watching the news from the Sultanate of Oman Television. First, the headlines. A new shipping line linking the Sultanate with the Far East region and international ports is inaugurated. The Family Cohesion Seminar titled Protecting Families from Abuse is concluded in the Governorate of Lufar. And the Omani Cultural Days continue in the Brazilian city of Rio de Janeiro. Those were the headlines. Now for the news in detail. His Majesty Sultan Qaboos has received a cable of thanks from His Excellency President Abdelaziz Bouteflika of the People's Democratic Republic of Algeria in reply to His Majesty's cable of greetings on his country's 53rd independence anniversary. His Majesty the Sultan has sent a cable of greetings to His Excellency President Juan Evo Morales of Bolivia on his country's independence anniversary. His Majesty the Sultan has sent a cable of greetings to His Excellency Dr. Patrick Linton Allen, Governor General of Jamaica, on his country's independence anniversary. A giant container ship affiliated to one of the largest shipping companies in the world docked at Suhar Port today, announcing the start of a new shipping line linking the Sultanate with the Far East region and international ports. An official reception ceremony was held under the auspices of His Excellency Dr. Ahmed bin Mohammed Al Futaisi, Minister of Transport and Communications, to the ship that carried on board 8,600 containers. An agreement to finance the mobile tourism services in Salala Port was signed today at the Ministry of Tourism. The agreement aims at allowing the private sector to support tourism initiatives and small and medium-sized enterprise owners, as well as bringing benefits to the local community. It also aims at providing technical support and training services for the owners of SMEs. The project includes financing the manufacture of seven mobile vehicles that will be used as outlets for the sale of fast foods, meals, juices, fruits, craft industries, and providing tourism services. A work team of the respective stakeholders will be formed to supervise the implement of the project and to develop the guidelines for the financial facilities, their terms, beneficiaries, and the criteria that should be met by the applicants. The work team will select entrepreneurs as per the preset objective criteria and after maintaining coordination with the respective stakeholders to provide training courses for entrepreneurs that will work in the project. It would also submit regular reports about the progress made and will follow up the performance of entrepreneurs. The Family Cohesion Seminar titled Protecting Families from Abuse, held in the government of the FAR, was concluded today. The seminar came within the efforts by the Ministry of Social Development meant to protect family solidarity. The concluding ceremony was presided over by His Excellency Dr. Yahya bin Badr al Mawali, Under Secretary of the Ministry of Social Development. Still to come in our news bulletin. The Japanese city of Hiroshima spent seven decades with the scars of the atomic bomb that was dropped by the U.S.
Welcome back to the news from the Sultanate of Oman Television. The Omani Cultural Days continued in Brazil, moving to its second station, Rio de Janeiro City. The event aims to spread the message of tolerance and acquaint the Brazilian people and the world with Omani culture and civilization. Omani Cultural Days coincided with the Rio de Janeiro celebration of its 450th anniversary of its establishment. The opening ceremony included various parts that highlighted all aspects of Oman, traditional dances and Omani fashion show. It was attended by a host of diplomatic officials, members of Omani delegation to the event, Arab and foreign communities in Brazil, and the Brazilian citizens. They stressed the significance of such initiatives due to its great role in bringing together all the nations. In order to reduce the increasing number of diabetics and high blood pressure patients, Dunk Health Center organized an awareness activity. It aimed to acquaint the public with the risks of this disease on health. The activities of the open day focused on prevention factors such as regular checkup, sports, and a balanced food intake. The disease affects 22% of the Sultanate's population. Al Hasha village in the wilaya of Rustaq is one of the promising tourist destinations in the wilaya due to its heritage importance and eye-catching natural scenes. The village contains a big rock located in the middle of the wadi. The rock contains ancient houses that attract many tourists. It is locally known as the ship of the wadi. Citizens in the village called upon the government to protect and renovate this heritage site to be a landmark of their village. In addition to this heritage site, the village has many attractions such as date palm, plantations, flowing water, and other surrounding ancient houses. As part of the Salah Al-Kharif Festival 2015, our reporter Abdullah bin Ahmed al is visiting an exhibition organized by the National Archives and Records Authority to have a look at some rare records and pictures of the past. Salala Festival 2015 consists of many educative activities that assist in bringing more knowledge in various areas that visitors of the festival benefit from. The special exhibition set here by National Record and Archives Authority is one of many exhibitions set by a number of governmental bodies as well as a good number of companies that are participating in this Salala Kharif Festival 2015. The exhibition represents a bridge of communications with the community to increase awareness and understanding of the importance of records and the importance of document of these records to preserve the legacy and help from the living memory of Oman. Uh, this exhibition aims to bring awareness to the community on the importance of uh, archive. Many of these documents are related uh, to royal records, correspondence uh, from the leader to the citizens or vice versa, while many others are related to the general history, related to inheritance uh, documents, commandments uh, documents, including heritage, culture, architects, and many other. The documentary exhibitions of the National Records and Archives Authority, Oman History and Civilizations, has uh, different uh, sections, uh, such as the documents of uh, sultans and also the documents of international relations. It is well known that uh, written documents are the first source uh, for any historical researcher as they are considered to be recorded uh, events that speak about the detailed historical situation that indicates uh, location, duration and personalities. We as young Omanis are benefiting from this kind of festivals as they are very, very educative to all of us. We tend to learn many, many things such as history, culture and tradition. What we learn from school is reinforced here. The documents are the real foundation upon which researchers base their studies at. Hence, this is one of the objectives of the National Record Archives behind these exhibitions. Indeed, more history to be learned about Oman in this kind of exhibition. Abdullah bin Ahmed al Rubai, Sultanate of Oman Television, Governorate of the Far. 
Seven decades since the dropping of the atomic bomb Hiroshima is once again thriving as a commercial hub in Japan. Here is a report. It killed 140,000 people. Little Boy was the world's first atomic bomb ever used in wartime. It was dropped by the U.S. Air Force on Hiroshima, Japan in August 1945. Exploding 600 meters above the ground, it devastated the city. Keiko Ogura, who was then eight years old, was two kilometers away at the time of the detonation. The blast was so strong, it blew me into the middle of the street and knocked me out. The city has since been rebuilt. This building, though 500 meters from ground zero, survived the blast and remains as a silent witness to the bombing, which ultimately helped bring a swift end to World War II. The atomic bomb should never have been dropped. It should never even have existed. This is the message I want to send to the whole world. Hiroshima's tram network was quickly re-established and in turn became a symbol of reconstruction. Seventy years on, these two carriages are still ferrying people around the city. Hiroshima was a victim of the atomic bomb. And we have to live with this history. There are survivors, buildings, and the tramway that convey this message. The effects of the radiation caused continued suffering for survivors, both physical and psychological. A pain shared by the people of Nagasaki, the second and last city to feel the full force of this. Now for the general weather forecast. Cloudy skies will prevail over the coastal areas and the nearby mountains of the Governor of the Fall, with chances of intermittent drizzle. Rest of the Sultanate will have clear to partly cloudy skies, with chances of scattered rainfalls over the Hajar Mountains and the nearby areas. Winds will be southwesterly active along the coast of the Arabian Sea, while it will be southeasterly light to moderate along the rest of the Sultanate. Seas along the coast of the Arabian Sea will be rough with a maximum wave height of 4 meters, and the rest of the coast it will be slight with a maximum wave height of 1.25. Five meters. This is the Sultanate of Oman Television. Before we end tonight's bulletin, here are the main points once again. A new shipping line linking the Sultanate with the Far East region and international ports is inaugurated. The Family Cohesion Seminar titled Protecting Families from Abuse is concluded in the Governorate of the Far.
And the Omani Cultural Days continue in the Brazilian city of Rio de Janeiro. With that, we come to the end of tonight's news bulletin. From all of us here at the studio and the newsroom, it's good night.